This is the entrance to the Prophet's grave site in the Brisbane Glen, up from Largs in North Ayrshire. Nearby is Middleton Farm. This is where some people from Largs came up because they were afraid of catching the plague that was affecting the area. Probably it was typhoid. They constructed basic housing here, temporary housing, hoping to survive the plague, move back down to Largs. The Reverend William Smith, who was only 28 when he died, had been their minister for around three years. We're talking of the year 1647, when the minister himself developed the plague, continued to minister to his flock for as long as he could. He then died and was buried near the Nodsdale River in the centre of the Brisbane Glen. A very peaceful area can imagine that they thought they would be safe from the plague in this part of the world. This is the relatively new entrance to the Prophet's Grave site. Previously the entrance was off the edge of Nodsdale Mill and through some plantations. This is the site of the Prophet's grave, the grave that is of the minister, William Smith. He was buried here in 1647. The site was restored by his nephew in 1710 and was restored again in 1760. Much more th thorough restoration took place in 1955. The brass plaque gives the details of the inscription on the stone. However, it seems that the copying has suffered from perhaps Chinese whispers. Certainly the engraving on the stone is very hard to decipher. William Smith requested that he be buried here close to Middleton where he had caught the pestilence, where he had developed the plague. This is close to the Nodsdale water, the Nodsdale mill being the original entryway to this site, this site, and the Brisbane house was not far away. The reason why he was known as the prophet, something perhaps he might not have approved of, was that the, on upon his deathbed, he stated that if two holly trees were planted above his grave, as long as they did not touch, then the Largs area would be 
free from the plague. Whether he was specific to typhoid, but certainly cholera struck the area at least twice around about the 1830s. And now the holly trees are very much intertwined. This is a delightful sight, remote, quite typical of the graveyards, burial places such as cholera pits. There are many of those in Ayrshire. It was the practice to bury people, sometimes large numbers, such as 40 people in a cholera pit at Bar Mill, 600 in a pit in Stevenson, 400 in Kilmarnock. 120 near Spees, Spears. They were buried in these remote locations for the sake of uh, not passing on the plague to others, often in burial pits. Where we are here is remote, quite close to Nodsdale Water, Nodsdale Mill, and the old Brisbane house was near here.